Hi, hello everybody, Jacopix here with another episode of FTL Multiverse. Um, today we are going to get to the next sector and like I said we are going to go to the Lost Sun Stronghold to, to this exclamation mark. Yeah, I already I've I've did my so-called research or whatever. Yeah, I was I freaking dumb that I didn't know I didn't know this, but I actually think I've I've talked about it. I think I've I've used the explanation mark like word or like word for this uh, some time ago, but I just didn't know that is it is actually called this way. So that was that was my bad. And we can get the task from from the Cura, which which will lead us into the another sector. But we will just leave it for the run that uh, that there will be like no no explanation marks at the end. So. We'll just have a, a nice sector at the end with, with this Cura's task, and for now we'll just proceed to the Lost Sun Stronghold. And they are neutral to us, and they are the faction that controls them are, are the rocks, and it's like the particularly the Lost Suns, which is like their kind of uh, I don't know the version of Illuminati. There's I, I guess I don't know. And yeah, their their ships look a bit scary, like really really growing red with, with black paint, but. Let's just let's just continue, yeah. Mm. They are like really really self-centered. They, they they are recruiting everyone to to join their, uh, you know, their. I don't know what is it called. Once again, something that I don't know how to how to call in English. But yeah, they are some kind of like you know you have monks and they're and they're like particular like type of religion that the place that they live in I don't know what it's called I should really be prepared a bit more but yeah they are this this kind of thing and let's just let's say that we want to let's just praise them a bit yeah and they are asking for supplies and I mean we needed the rocket so let's let's refuse and they actually want to fight us like I thought they are just like they are these guys that pick every fight and, and board you and and have some like mostly fire fire weapons using they use mostly like fire to fight with the ships which is not very nice but yeah let's just maybe fire the Hermes missile because we don't need to waste another one and let's fire the burst yeah if damage them like really really uh, hard and let's just use cloaking now. The ASB missed, which is nice. They are repairing uh, the shields room, which I think we are fine. We can send one rocket, and we actually used a piece of ammunition, which is a bit, a bit bad. But yeah, we've we've managed to, to kill them without any anything, like without getting any damage. Yeah, and we'll us as usual just like uh, salvage something from the sector, and let's take the risk or. Or maybe not. I'm. I'm not sure. I mean, yeah. Let's just not risk it because we can lose crew member, a crew member, if if we will take the risk. So yeah, let's not not risk anyone. And the exit is in a really really bad spot. There are only two entrances there, which I think this one is also like a no no because there's also nothing around it. So I think we are heading here. But for now we can. Can maybe just get to this like sector with with the sound sun next to it. So yeah, mm, let's just try to salvage the wreck. And there is a rock fighter, and we need to we need to take care of them. So yeah. Mm. We are fine, let's fire the rockets. I think the Hermes is, is enough. So let's use only Hermes. They fired a bit of a bit of lasers and we can just, just cloak it and fire our own laser at them. Yeah, there was a lot of a lot of stuff on, on its way. We hit I think we hit one of our, of their lasers which like they collided and both disappeared, which is both good and bad for us, but yeah. I think we are fine. There is a solar flare imminent, which sets our ship a bit on fire. But once again, we are fine. 
and hopefully we'll be able to yeah finish them off with the salvo all this barrage yeah so we are fine we got a lot of scrap and let's just move somewhere else i think we can we can visit this spot because there are, there's an enemy and an ASB so it's probably something something worth it at least that's that's what I thought of that's what I think about those places but yeah it's just a small ship so maybe it, it's not that worth that worth at all there is an enemy here which we can like we should probably take care of ASAP and hopefully we'll make it before yeah before he turns on because this is a drone that ions the whole room it's it turns off the, the whole room and it's a bit a bit bad for for the crew and for the weapon system that it's in and there's a mi missile coming at us and yeah it's already a bit too late and there's a fire on our ship which is which is bad so one shot and now let's cloak i think we should dodge it come on yeah nice let's fire at the let's fire at the weapons actually because another missile is coming so yeah, we are turning it off. Let's turn on the burst laser and send everyone to their positions. And yeah, there's once again a drone here. And it already ions the room the second that it got inside of it. So that's a bit weird, but also really, really bad for us. And yeah, I don't think we'll be able to take, take them out right now. So yeah, and also I don't think we'll dodge the ASB because I think, yeah, no. Once again, my polish just kicking in, but uh, yeah, our like base dodge chance just just it was enough, so that's that's nice. Let's send those a bit damaged guys to to the med room, to the med bay, and we actually can do this because I mean we can, yeah. There's we can just use the cloaking and hopefully we'll dodge it. Yeah, it, it's fine. So he can go get back to his his spot. If there's no pilot in the, in the cockpit, uh, we can't pilot the ship. We can't. We have zero percent evade. So yeah, it's it's that way. But it's just how it is, and we have to cope with that. Mm, there's a fairly fairly big ship here, which is which might be just a bit dangerous because of this this bomb here, this, this teleporting one. So. Yeah, anything else is, is I think not, not that bad. Let's send our fighter here and maybe this guy from weapons system to defend this drone. Need to look so that, like look out so that this drone doesn't doesn't destroy, like doesn't ion our, our crewmates. It starts doing that so let's evacuate everyone. Everyone is fine. Okay, let's let's set NG here and also this guy here to repair the weapons room like ASAP because this bomb is going to damage it a bit, yeah? And let's switch our weapons to their weapons. I think one rocket missed but it's fine. And let's I think just finish them off with with shooting at the empty empty room. Everyone is fine, let's send everyone to their spots. And yeah, we are fine. There's also one more and let's just use the burst laser to, to don't waste any more ammunition. Although, no, I don't think, yeah, they can damage us. So let's fire and we actually lost the, the ammo. So that's a bit bad, but let's just not risk our, our HP. There's no stores around us and we actually have 10 jumps. So that's a lot. We can go one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So even more. And I think we can just do this and we'll be fine. So let's get here. And there's a lost sun sun ship that's want that wants to fight us and let's fight them at the highest highest difficulty. So let's do this and yeah it's actually a bit a bit difficult. So yeah, continue, do nothing and let's just see what happens. There are two guys here which we need to take care of ASAP, we need to also fire at their weapons for sure and yeah I think they are not that big of a danger to us, it's just we need to not die 
on our on our ship, yeah. And we'll be completely fine. Let's fire here and here and it should be over. Fairly, fairly soon. They resisted the damage because that's also the ability of of those rocks, so yeah, we got we got some stuff from it. It was it was really really worth it, so that's nice and it's we got a deconstructor which allows us to deconstruct some things which like it's obvious a bit but yeah we don't need it let's just leave it leave it in the space and these guys need to heal up so let's send them there also we need to power on all of our systems that got turned off in the process and we actually have one spare power bar because they upgraded our our reactor and also repaired us so yeah that was that was really 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 nice even at the highest difficulty it wasn't that that bad mm. let's go here as as we've planned there's once again a, a ship and let's just ask them to, to surrender and they don't want to do it because their pride doesn't allow them so let's just quickly quickly take care of them yeah they have some rockets but shouldn't be they shouldn't be that that big of, of a problem so yeah and I think we can fire our our Hermes once again to the uh to the shields room and let's just take care of those guys yeah they fired a rocket which I think we will just like leave leave alone because it's only one damage and these guys can can do a lot more harm to us which we should look out for although I think doing this will be the best option yeah we can both destroy those weapons and dodge the rocket so that we won't get any damage and it was actually a good call let's fire at their uh, piloting room and let's send those guys to the med bay yeah and i think we we managed to really really take care of them really really quickly and swiftly yeah they are ready they are already dead and we can actually collect a lot of scrap from by using our, our scrap arm that we've um, put on some, some episodes ago mm. yeah there's nothing really there's nothing much to do in here but we'll just like we'll just take a, take a look at our upgrades because we have a lot of stuff and let's just buy the respirators which allows our crew to withstand without oxygen uh, a bit longer yeah and I mean it doesn't cost, cost much it's, it's just 60 scrap and I think we need actually we need to uh, get the medbot disposal or, or dispersal or whatever it is pronounced which allows our crew to be healed outside of the med bay if it's if it's powered so that's very very nice and it actually doesn't cost us any anything like very important to us so yeah there is also, I think we can also upgrade our cloaking to use shadow weaponry because um, our cloaking gets like the bars on our cloaking, the timer gets shortened every time our weapons fire, which is a bit a bit bad if, if you want to fire at like at the moment that we are cloaked because it, it will un uncloak us and, and make us visible. So let's get the shadow weapon weaponry too. And I think for now that's everything we need, yeah. So let's also upgrade some stuff here. We can upgrade the cloaking, med bay and doors. So yeah, we have a lot. A lot of stuff. And we have two power levels in med bay to always heal our crew members outside of the med bay. And there's a distress signal which we'll go to in, in a second. Just let's just take this, this big loop around. There's a coalition enforcer which I don't think, yeah, it doesn't pose any danger to us. It's actually a fairly easy enemy, I guess, so we are fine. Mm. Our rocket missed, so that's amazing. Let's just fire the burst razor. Yeah, it got through and it dealt a lot of damage, so let's just send another rocket there to really occupy them for a moment. Yeah, there's a lot of fire. And we actually killed two of their crew members, so that's that's nice. Two of our guys, like one drone and one, one crew member, are covered in this purple stuff, which I think lowers the statistics. Yeah, I think they just get a bit more damage, and and that's it from from this stuff. But 
when they are on our ship without any any danger this this doesn't really matter and they're trying to surrender but we'll show them no mercy and I've actually uh, turned up a bit the volume of, of music a bit a bit higher because yeah mm, I think it was a bit low and let's just just let me know if, if it's too loud actually but I think it's the perfect at the perfect level now to, to both hear me and to, to both hear it like mm, you know for you to be actually able to, to hear it and there's once again a fight that we can pick which I'm for sure going to do to do this yeah and there's they have a mine launcher like uh, a different kind of, of missile launcher which just launches mines which are also a bit dangerous to us but not as much and let's just turn our cloaking with with the extended like duration and shadow weaponry I think we are fairly fairly fine so yeah let's this time fire out their shields and let's also finish the system with, with the burst laser so yeah those fights are becoming really really easy and I think we'll just need to up a bit our our difficulty but yeah we got the mine launcher which I don't think we'll use it's it's a bit yeah it's a bit expensive to use and also it requires missiles so it's not really a good good idea so actually I don't think we can make it one two three four yeah we can actually make it just just perfectly there's no other way it's, it's the perfect path right now for us let's there's some manti mantis I mean and let's just let's just hide them and uh, yeah I think they <laughs> they like took care of, of maybe our new quest so it's a bit bad and let's just take care of them for that I think it should be very very easy because their weapons are like really really weak the ion drone is ioning the drone room which like doesn't matter to us because we have the manager drones which don't require power so it's like no no deal to us and let's fire other weapons yeah, there's a bit of fire there but uh, the rock race is immune to fire also besides their their H HP so yeah it is they are fine I guess yeah and we can just finish them off with a rocket to, to the empty room and that's that's everything for this fight. Let's investigate the Mantis' wreckage. And we actually like managed to, to rescue him, so we got a, a good fighter on our ship. Let's just put him next to our uh, sensors guy and they will just be like these these two buddies that fend off anyone on, on like unwelcomed on, on our ship, yeah. Another jump, another probably another enemy. Actually not. There's an Union Union shuttle, which I think we'll just land some fuel. And yeah, they gave us a bit. It wasn't really worth it, but it's it's fine. There's once again a fight. As you can see, there there are a lot of fights in those last two sectors. In this one and the one from the previous episode, because. We picked two red ones and also those are at the end of the game, so yeah, I don't know why I, f why I fired at the weapons room. I think it was just like a bit of a habit because I seen this this launcher here, which is a bit dangerous to us, so yeah. Let's fire our burst laser. Yeah, their shields are off, but their weapons will be on soon, so let's fire once again the missile there. And the burst laser will just fire at the shields room so yeah there's a fire here and they are repairing their weapons and i've actually rea realized that there's a lot of crew on their ships so yeah it's um it's a bit weird because most of the times uh those small ships like this one usually have like three or four crew at at best and they are offering offering a lot of stuff to us which which we need so I think this time we can take their surrender because yeah let's just not risk it we didn't have much fuel and we also didn't have much ammunition so 
That's nice, and we got once again some stuff to for sure use. And let's head to the exit. Mm, we can explore, which we'll do, and let's aid the civilian ship because we are we are at the side of the Federation, and yeah, we we'll, we help civilians that are under attack or like some kind of they just need some help from us. So let's take care of the enemy. Yeah. Mm. Burst laser at their shields because we need to take care of them first because yeah the green shield doesn't allow anything to pass even rockets so we always have to turn it off first and like firing rockets at it is it's not really optimal because it's just a waste of ammunition and we've managed to destroy it in a single salvo so yeah let's just do the classical fights fighting strategy in this one yeah our guy is attacking the engine like quite a bit but I think it's it's already over yeah the fight is like already over because they don't have any shields and the burst laser is doing quick work of them our engine is is almost repaired yeah it's already repaired and our engine got a uh, level up in repairs which means that he repairs at like 220 percent speed so that's that's nice and we can contact the civilian which just thanks us without giving without giving us anything actually they wanted to repair our ship but it's it's fully repaired so it doesn't it doesn't matter yeah so we are getting to to the last sector but that will be in the in another episode because that's that's the end of today's thank you guys for watching and hopefully see you see you in the next one peace out <laughs>